Hey everybody, welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 12D with me, Reinstein. I've got some awesome news to share with you. Uh, we had some traders come along, so we've managed to sell off the one of the AI Persona cores, which is good. I think I'm going to keep this one for our escape ship. I managed to sell the two really bad sculptures that uh, Douglas had made. But more importantly, we got a leg for Louise. So I've set up the operation to install, it's only a simple prosthetic leg, so it could be a lot, it could be better, but uh, that's all we managed to get. Um, thinking about it, where is it? There it is, right there. So hopefully when Ashen Crow is ready, he's gonna do it, there he is. Visiting a grave, all right, so he's obviously doing his joy activity right now. Um, yes, I'm super excited, we'll have Louise back in action. Obviously, if you remember anything, she is my girlfriend in real life, so, you know, we need her back. I'm pretty excited. So, but anyway, in between last episode and this, I've managed to get loads of the walls built. Um, we've got our geothermal up and running. We've got everything going pretty cool now. So, there we go, Ash and Crow. Oh, God, he's going to do the operation with herbal medicine. All right, sir. All right, let's just tune in and watch this operation. Where's Ash and Crow gone? Ash and Crow? There he is. Installing simple prosthetic leg. Oh god, and we got a raid while he's doing it. Um, okay. A group of pirates from the skunks have arrived in drop pods nearby. They are attacking immediately. What? Ah, here they are. So, they're coming from down there. They're either going to come through there or around the right then. So, I think my turret should be able to deal with that. But I need to make sure everyone's going to be fine. So, actually, I'm going to get my colonists out to help defend this, I think. Ash and Crow, Louise obviously is in bed. We'll get Lord Cucumber, Nora. Ah, Nora needs a knife back. I think I sold them all. Whoopsie. There are knives scattered around though. Or Plasteel Gladius, which looks freaking epic. So I'm going to get her to carry that around. Mikiel, you stand there. Dushku, she's good. Douglas, I've actually given Douglas a sniper rifle now. And Stevens is a brawler, so I'm going to leave... Actually, Stevens, I think he's a brawler. Yeah, zero out of four. So there's another Plasteel Gladius here, so I'm going to grab that. Now, they're worth a lot of money, those things, but uh, not to worry. All right, Nora and Stevens. So Nora, you come and wait here. Stevens. Oh, dear, you wait there. Ash and Crow, I completely forgot about you. You should have been looking after Louise as she got her new leg. No, she's under anesthetic. All right, so I'm gonna let Ash and Crow go. Here they come, here comes the assault. Should be able to deal with it without issue, but you never know. Whoa, they're chopping down my turret. No, boom, take that fool. Hopefully we can get one or two prisoners out of this as well. I like getting my prisoners. Yeah, flee you fools, flee. Get out of here. Go on. Run away with your tail between your legs, you failures. Alright, so there it looks like two people we can potentially take on board. Steadfast and Prosphophobe. 29. I thought he said he was 97 then. Chronological age, 97. What? But biological age, 29. Hmm, that's weird. How does that work? How can you be two different ages? Right, let's uh, capture Meet the Marine. Now, who's this other one? Kent. Let's have a look at you. Heat tolerant, ascetic, good with animals, and very artistic. Kent, we need you. Let's get you in our colony as well. Or at least we'll capture them and see if they're willing to join our colony. There we go. Another one down. So two more prisoners refilling our prison cells. Um, this is a good episode already. Happy with that. Um, yeah, Ash and Crow's now tending to Louise. Under anesthetic. Come on, Ash and Crow, get her back up and running. Louise is going to be healthy and, and moving again. Yay! So, with that being said then, we'll have to give her a job. But I don't know what to give her as her job. What was she before? I don't remember. She's not up and running just yet. I guess she's sleeping, is she? Resting. Disturbed sleep, feeling terrible, joy deprived. Yeah, well, soon enough, you should be back on your feet, Louise. So, I'm sure everyone in the colony will be particularly happy. Um, 
Yeah, Louise is no longer incapable of walking. Sweet. I remember. Louise was our negotiator, wasn't she? Constructing. I'm going to get her hauling as well, I think. Aha. Uh -huh. And Ash and Crow's tending to meat. So let's take a look at this guy. Chat and recruit. Uh, give them normal medicine. Kent. Chat and recruit as well. So they're both 92 recruitment difficulty. Actually, let's just give them the dodgy medicine. I call it dodgy. It's probably quite good. Who knows? Is there any way we can find that out? How good it is? Let's have a look here. Flammability 100%. Max hit points. Medical potency 75%. How effective this is when used to heal wounds and diseases or do surgery. Higher medical potency improves the chances of a doctor treating wounds properly. Ah, uh -huh. I've never read this. Okay, so it's three quarters, um, three quarters as effective as normal medicine. Brilliant. Cool. Hopefully you guys will choose to join me. We'll have an a even bigger colony. We need to get rid of Crystal and Est. Well, I think I think their bodies are inside there. Or one is. Est. There's... Where's the other one? Is it still down here? I don't know where the other one is, to be honest. Hopefully they haven't dumped her here. Crystal. Yeah, there she is. Crystal, I'm so sorry for losing you, and I've just realised you are an, a subscriber, which I apologise for saying you're not, but I haven't heard from you in so long that I just uh, assumed it was a normal person. But please send me a comment, Crystal, and let me know how you think your colonists did in the playthrough. Um, yeah, McKeel is farming now. Sweet. Yeah, so I think we're back back in business. We're, we're looking good. We're looking good now. And I, I kind of what I want to do is, like, make my base look a little bit better so I'm gonna give them some nice uh, armchairs and stuff like that let's see what we've got available to build out of we've got quite a lot of squirrel skin and elk hide how much do these take a hundred so we can make two armchairs squirrel skin now where would be a good place to make our to put our armchairs would it be here inside our inside here maybe I don't know I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put them in the corner here. So one from squirrel skin, one from elk hide. Oh yeah, Oz did say to me as well that we don't need the nutrient paste dispenser. Um, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. I am gonna to toggle it off though. I don't think they need it. So that's gonna be a good thing. And my phone has just pinged. Yay! Cool. My sister's now installed Skype on her phone. Uh, the thing is, I don't get to talk to her a lot because um, obviously she's in England, I'm in Sweden. And uh, she's always busy, 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 much like myself. So we've been using WhatsApp and the call quality on WhatsApp's not exactly great. And we get like a delay, which is really annoying. Um, right, how are we gonna get rid of these people? Is there any way I can like get people to focus on um, cremating cannot bury well you guys deserve a nice grave so I'm gonna give you a nice little grave up here I think and that can be for Est and uh, Est and Cristal okay cool now one of these has got ah meat's fully healed Kent Kent's got an infection I'm sure he'll he'll recover nicely and they'll, they'll agree to join us. Why wouldn't they? Our colony is epic. Splendificus. Yes, Dushku is still working on all these blocks. I'm going to keep her going with that just for a little while longer because there's still bits I want to fix up and make even more beautiful. Um, what's going on here? Still can't work out this geothermal heat generation thing. All right, what I want is no wall to the outside generating cold for me and I don't think it is like the temperature all around my base is like 21 so in that case I'm gonna stop Est from using uh, not Est, I'm gonna stop um, what's that name? Dushku from using the steel stone cutters table ah Ash and Crow's building this, cool yay we've got normal squirrel skin, squirrel skin armchair sweet Busy, 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 Stevens. Now, now things are better. If we get another exotic goods trader, I can maybe try and get some more joy uh, activities for everybody. I think that would be rather pleasant for them, wouldn't it? Um, oh yeah, what I wanted to do as well was grow some more hydroponics. 
so that I can get cotton and things like that so we can make carpets thought that would be rather pleasant right so we're gonna put a new sun lamp here oh, we just haven't quite got enough room do you know what I don't think we need that we've actually got enough room because now I was informed thank you whoever told me that we can put hydroponics basins close together and the colonists can walk all over them without problem so let's get these out of the way so and then when we've built these we'll have loads more food production capabilities let's build one there one there one there uh, yes I'm not going to use them as food though for cotton I think I will um, mm -mm -mm. Ooh, our food is running out quite drastically maybe we have too many mouths to feed lots more hydroponics basins I know this is going to use a lot of electricity but kind of I have to do it so oh, let's get rid of that one. Ooh, we have a new recruit as well oh my god this is insane I'm not gonna be able to feed you all I'm gonna have to go back to human meat all right, let's put some more like so one there one there cram them in uh, so where's our new recruit meat oh yeah meat's pretty cool as well steadfast and a prosperthobe it's good socially good at shooting um, so social actually how good are Ash and Crow and Louise who are currently doing our social activities Ash and Crow you're uh, you're not very good at all oh no it's Lord Cucumber aha so Lord Cucumber's not great so we'll take him off that Louise you're 10 um, we'll put meat on it yeah, and then he can haul as well. Awesome! And there's Dogbert! Dogbert, our, or Albert, whatever you want to call him, is carrying bodies around. Epic! This is going so good. Come on, just build these um, hydroponics basins. We're going to need loads more uh, steel, though, I think. So I'm going to get some mining underway. If we just mine straight that way. This is how my girlfriend does it. She, her technique is mine straight through a thing. If you hit, you know, uh, steel anywhere, then you're then obviously you've got a steel vein and all is good with the world so that's what I'm gonna do and me oh yeah we need to do our little uh, joy thing for meet the marine as well change his little work activity schedule there you go excellent oh look at that meat is now hauling bodies oh meat's falling asleep you know what we haven't got a bedroom for him either ah you can have a temporary sleeping spot in the dining room. No, in the hallway. Yeah, you've got to sleep in the hallway, son, all right? Wakey, wakey. Off you go to proper bed. Okay, so now we need to build more bedrooms then. What have we got available to build it from? Granite. Loads of granite. So I'm going to do what I did before. Six by six. Uh, six by five, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to go out like so. And then one, two, three. Yeah, perfect. So that's going to be his bedroom. Granite block there, and then a um, granite, oh, granite bed. Um, a little heater for the man, and obviously a light. We just put normal lights in at the moment. Um, yeah, I think we're going to need to open up the stone cutters table again because we're kind of running out of blocks. Pirate merchant. Ooh, does a pirate merchant buy, like, would they buy human meat? Let me see. No. And we've still got that Psychic Soothe um, Pulsar that we bought, which I'm not sure whether to keep it or not. I guess in the future maybe it might come in handy. Oh, there's power armor. If only I had enough money for power armor. I have got enough money to give Louise a bionic leg. But we shouldn't, should we? Should we sell Kent? You know what? We need to give um, some more of you guys colonists. More of you colonists. This one, we've got Douglas and Stevens. I need to remember who needs colonists. Oz. Oz can be Douglas. No, Oz can be Stevens. Yeah. So, Oz, your job is to mine like a boss. Okay? That's going to be you. Cool. I finally got more people. Why didn't I think of that before? Been brain dead. Alright, as you in, there's Oz. 
And there is another one I'm trying to think of who commented. Oh, yeah, Mr. Remixer, we can have you in. You can be meat. Yeah, Mr. Remixer. Let's add you in, Mr. Remixer. There we go. We're finally getting all of you guys on board. Sweet. I'm so happy. Yay. Ah, oh, come on, people. We need you to build these hydroponics basins. Don't be slacking now. Yeah, come on. Food, 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 people. Oh my god, there's not much food. They're eating raw berries. Ah, Nora, get cooking, quick. Not many berries in there. There's loads of food in these places, though. Um, is there any way we can change this? Yeah, Mr. Remixer is hauling and stuff, so... Severe illness for Kent. Can we save you, Kent? Extreme untreated infection. I think you're going to survive, Kent. And I think you're going to be part of our colony. Another female. That might have to be Crystal again. She's the only female I know of who's a subscriber, apart from Chloe and Louise. So, Crystal might get resurrected. But obviously, as we normally do, she'll be Crystal uh, Jr. Hey, there's two heaters here. I'm going to turn one of these off to conserve some electricity. Hey, the bedroom's up and running. Yay. Okay, how many people do we have? One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten people now. And that's my tenth bedroom. Awesome. How utterly blooming splendid. Just keeps making the blocks. And they still haven't started building these hydroponics basins. Hmm. I wish you guys would hurry up. You are taking your time. Maybe we don't have enough steel. But there is steel all around the map. Lots of hauling to be done, people. Mr. Remixer hauling Oz. Ah, how are you getting on with your mining? Found any steel yet, Oz? I'm afraid not, Captain. I cannot find it under here. It's, it's a massive lump of rock with nothing valuable in it. It's a waste of time, I say. I reckon that's how you talk, Oz. What do you think? Accurate or not? <laughs> Alright, well, I guess once we get these bodies tidied away, then we will... Then we will uh, start hauling in all the other stuff. Um, construction. Ash and Crow. I'm going to get Louise doing some constructing as well. Yeah. Definitely. Are these being built yet? Still dead. Oh, there's one. And there's another one. They're just not finished. Alright. Well, okay. Come on. Food is running out, Nora. And Mikiel. Where is Mikiel? Is he still growing? Priority. Yeah. Good, good, good. Maybe maybe we need another person helping grow. Dushku's eating raw lettuce. I see. You wouldn't rather haul it in and then have a lovely meal cooked out of it? No? Oh, uh, okay. Hey, what's going on here? Where's our Zerygium? Ah, oh, yes. Ash and Crow. Nice. Alright, this one I'm going to turn into strawberries. And come on, hurry up and build the rest of them. Louise is still hauling. That's interesting, Louise. You're eating... Ah, no, because you're... Okay, I'm going to turn this on again so they actually put stuff in there. In the nutrient paste dispenser. And then that way they'll at least have a nutrient paste meal rather than eating raw ingredients, which just wastes it all. Yeah, Nora's cooking food. Come on, folks. Douglas, poor mood, Oz. Okay, this one is going to grow more strawberries because they grow so fast. I can't wait to use the vegetable mod in the, the latest, uh, in my next playthrough. It's going to be cool. Then we can grow like banana trees, apple trees, all sorts of cool stuff. Strawberries, hydroponic basins. This is going to be... We'll have one cotton one. At least one cotton one. Look at this, we've got all these cloves here. And a massive stockpile. Okay. Ooh, combat supplier. I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna call you. Come here, combat supplier. Uh, what do we got? 
couple of crappy armored vests, steel military helmet, Kevlar helmet, steel club worth four cents. Ooh, I'll have it. <laughs> plasteel gladius. We'll keep the, the plasteel knife. I think that's in really quite nice condition. Uh, maybe get some more medicine. One, two, three, four, I think. We'll try and keep 30. 30 medicine seems quite good. Power armor, awful. We could afford that power armor. Power, powered armor usually used by assault troops from advanced glitter world planets. Ah oh, man, imagine if we start getting loads of money and we can make loads of these. Get or get loads of these um, power armor. That'd be awesome. Ooh, marble small sculpture. And that's a good one. Or a normal, you know. Uh, let me read about it. Is it worthy of being as part of our colony? On this carving is a representation of Dorian, Lord Cucumber, Chow is. Welcome in Alan Douglas, which is Oz, I think. No, that is just Douglas, as he becomes a colonist on December 8th. Douglas is nodding in understanding. If you squint your eyes, the triangular composition of the image reveals the outline of a sardine. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Um... Maybe it could replace one of these. No. I'm going to put it at the entrance. At the entrance to our base. I kind of want more really good sculptures so I can sell them and then get power armor for everyone. That would be epic. Power armor for all. Uh, make this a strawberry. Ah, solar flare. Okay. Strawberry. Okay, we're just trying to keep up with food production here, people. It's a struggle. Pirate merchant. Yeah, we're completely out of food. That is slightly worrying. We've got human meat, but I don't want to start feeding them human meat. Nora's chopping up bodies. Yeah, we're going to be selling that human meat anyway. Um, hmm. Hunter lacks a weapon. Let's take notice of this. So, Louise doesn't have a weapon anymore. Um, she kind of needs a gun. I don't think we got no more guns. Whoopsie. I didn't think this through. We'll give her the minigun. Yeah. There's a pistol there. Hold on. It's all going way too fast here. Need research project. Oh, yeah. We can get Louise back on research as well. We'll do that soon. We've got some cargo pods with steel on. That'll help immensely. Dushku... So Dushku's still creating all that. I don't think I want Dushku to continue with that. But she can't haul. Ah, that's that's the annoying thing. Come on, food. See, there's loads of food here. Just haul it in, people. Might have to reschedule some jobs here so they all haul it. Yeah, let's take Oz off of mining. Come on, people. Haul the food in. Might have to do it manually. Haul Nora. Yeah, you're already hauling. Lord Cucumber. You do some hauling. And Louise. At least give this poor poor woman Nora something to cook with. Poor girl's trying to give us food. She ain't got nothing to cook with. There you go. Let's grab some more while you're at it. Lord Cucumber. Sorry guys, I just this is very important that I do this. Ah, good. So they automatically take 75 of each thing. Good, good. Okay. Ash and Crow's built that. So for this one, we'll put lettuce in there, I think. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Everything's going rather well. Yes. Oz. Oz, what's the matter, mate? You're in a poor mood. Let's find out. Feeling terrible. Ate rice. <laughs> Ate some raw rice. Awful! We need a cooker out here. True, all's true. But you also need to haul stuff for me. Okay. Remix is sleeping out there still. Why aren't you sleeping in there? Hmm. You will now. Yeah. All right. This dude, I imagine, is now immune from everything. Yes, I checked. Checked, and he's healthy. Splendid. Okay. So, is there anything around here that I should be doing? I kind of want this geothermal generator, but it's way too far away. Um, You know what? I'm going to get... 
this deconstructed here. Louise, hauling steel to hydroponics basin. All right, sweet. And McKeel is doing his best to keep up with the food production. Do we need someone else to help out with growing? Oz, yeah, you could help out, mate. And then you, once you've done that, you could do the hauling. Works for me. Corn. Whoa, corn takes 13.68 days to grow. Damn, we can't afford to have corn growing here no more. We're going to change it to rice. Yeah, change that one to rice as well. God damn it, that's way too long. We need short gro short growing crops or short time to grow crops. I think that about wraps this episode up though. I'm really happy with how things are going and I'm especially happy to have 10 of you on board and we can welcome Mr. Remixer and Oz to the colony. Ah, uh, oh, this guy, Douglas. Douglas can be Flair. That's the name I was trying to think of. Colonist Flair. Flair, you're quite a recent um, subscriber, and I love the fact that you subscribe and get involved in the conversations we have on the videos. Thank you ever so much. There's your reward. You're in the playthrough. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I hope you'll join me for tomorrow's episode. Uh, please remember to support me on Patreon if you are willing and able to at patreon.com forward slash redneck Einstein. Subscribe if you haven't already, and get in touch via the comment section. Take care of you beautiful people. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.